All right, so YouTube, 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 here is your stock price predictions for SoFi. Now, please, guys, hit that like button so we can fight the algorithm and we want to see this channel grow. So we would appreciate you here. Now, SoFi is coming off uh, earnings week. Uh, that was really good. Now, when we look at the history uh, of this stock, there really is no reason for this stock to be down to where it is, but we know the overall markets are pretty much having a nice sell-off. And so from this perspective, if the markets are, are going to be recovering, then I would see SoFi uh, making a nice mo move up to back to the upside. And we'll talk about those in just a second. But I mean, look at the, the revenue. It's just, it's constantly going up. Earnings per share for the most part are constantly going up, uh, except you can see Q, Q3 of 2023, we had a little bit of an issue there. But time and time again, this is a, a solid stock that, that outperforms pretty much every single time. Now, when we look at the charts, we can see this nice little fall off here. And I would say this, if the market is going to recover this week, then I would say we would need to to work our way back above seven dollars and if we can do that i can see us going back to retest some of the levels that we've seen over the last couple of weeks uh more so 760 and potentially even going higher um because there's nothing wrong with the actual company no bad news has come out about them and so from that perspective, this is why I say if the markets overall are going to make a recovery, then SoFi is definitely going to go back to retest some of these levels we've seen over the last couple of weeks. Now, if the market decides, you know what, we still want to go down. Now we're looking at SoFi potentially, you know, testing 652, you know, 646, 638. and you know, maybe even 626, okay? So, so far's price, price action is going to definitely be uh, surrounded by what the overall markets are gonna do. Now, if let's say the overall markets, let's say the S&P 500 uh, is going to virtually be flat this week, let's say it's gonna consolidate, I still think so far is gonna go up because there's no reason for it to stay still or move down if the overall markets are going to be flat. I think it's going to be one of those slow rising situations where we just slowly go up as long as there is no bad news. Um, but one thing we do have to keep in mind is, and that is the, the war situation that's going on in the Middle East. And so, Right now, I'm looking at the price of Bitcoin right now. It's currently at 4.2%. Um, and it looks like crypto is at least factoring that in. So Bitcoin right now is down to $58,000. Now you're saying, well, what does that have to do with SoFi? Well, you know, unless there's a recovery uh, from crypto, let's, you know, let's say it goes back up, then I think, you know, we could potentially be on our way to uh, moving back to the upside. But if if not, then we could see uh, stocks starting at eight o'clock tonight, p.m. Eastern time. We can see how they're going to react, at least in the the uh, aftermarket leading into pre-market tomorrow morning. So we got to keep that uh, in mind as far as economic data that's going to be coming out i don't really see anything besides maybe initial jobless claims that could potentially um you know derail momentum going to the upside so uh just like last week um a lot of things happened you had apple earnings you had was it microsoft you had a lot of major players reporting earnings and when we factor at that all of that into what Jerome Powell didn't say last week, we 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 show we show what 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 the markets uh, wanted to to tell us in regards to that. So uh, from that perspective, 
I would say this, if Jerome Powell even says any or any of the feds say anything about, you know, an emergency rate cut, then we can see the markets take off more uh, exponentially uh, than they have during some moments of last week of, of, a, of attempts of recovering, okay? So there's a lot that we have to factor in here, but, it, but in a nutshell, overall, um, yeah, we could potentially fall a little bit more because of the war stuff, um, but to the upside, if, if it's gonna be good news, then we could be potentially retesting some ranges in this area here. So listen, guys, I'm overall bullish for the, the movement of SoFi this week. Now I will say this, Monday might be a little bit rough. I, I will admit that Monday might be rough because we got to factor in whatever's going on uh, geopolitically and um, Maybe it could be a, a tail end of, of what happened on Friday uh, leading into to Monday. So early on, I could see it being choppy or even coming down a little bit more. But as we get past all that, um, we're looking at going back over $7 because there's no reason really for it to, to sit under $7 given the good earnings that we had, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you're bullish on this or you bearish. What do you see for the overall markets? Because that that's really uh, what we're we're betting on here. What is the overall markets going to do, and how are they going to take all the news that's happened over this past weekend? Okay, listen, guys, I appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up for us so we can continue to grow. Uh, appreciate you guys, and we're out, guys. Peace.